Hi there, it's Nicole Spore, and today I'm sharing these coffee cup gift card holders featuring waffle flower stamps, dies, and pattern paper. I love shaped gift card holders and especially coffee cup ones. These are so super quick and easy to make and especially made easy with some of the awesome new half and half pattern papers from Waffle Flower. So these are kind of like two shades, a light and a dark shade. So I'm going to take each of these, which measure, measures eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm gonna score them at four and a quarter and fold them in half to create the base or the coffee cup portion of this. So these are the paper pads I'm using. I'm using pattern papers from the botanical and enchanted paper pads. So the bases of my cards are actually from the botanical paper pad here. You can really see here there's a light and a dark side. For me it really didn't matter that much since you're not going to be able to tell and when you flip it over it's not a huge deal. I actually kind of liked that one side was darker than the other. So the score line is actually going to be at the bottom of the coffee cup. I'm going to use a bone folder to make sure that's really nice and scored. And then I'm going to take the coffee cup die, which is open down there along the bottom edge. There's not a cutting piece down there along the bottom. And I'm going to tape it in place with a little repositionable tape. I found that it works best if those two little pointy corners hang off the edge a bit. In fact, if you flip this over and double check to see if you can see the cut lines or the little where it's going to cut, in fact, I couldn't, so I'm going to shift it down just a smidge. If you can see those little cut lines, it's going to cut all the way through. I'm going to run that through my Spellbinders Platinum Die Cutting Machine and then simply just pop this out and I have got the base of my coffee cup shape. Now the tabs to hold this closed will actually die cut on both sides. You don't really need both of them, so I like to trim off on the back. I'm just following that score line taking some nice long shears and trimming along that on just one side of the coffee cup. And then I can fold those in and we will secure this here in a little bit. I would recommend if you have any stamping to do on this or any embellishing to go ahead and wait to assemble until you have the coffee cup all decorated the way you want it to look. So I, once I have all of the actual coffee cup portion, I am going to die cut the insert part, the part that holds the gift card and that you pull out of the coffee cup out of a solid piece of coordinating. I'm a huge fan of tone on tone. So we're going to end up with a purple coffee cup, a teal coffee cup, and kind of a great peachy rose kind of colored or red colored coffee cup. Then from the Waffle Flower Coffee Cup Sentiment Stamp Set, we are going to stamp the little logo for the front of our coffee cup that says something special just for you using a black ink on white cardstock. Then we're going to take the coordinating die and die cut this. You can see I've already pre-die cut and got some of the components to embellish my coffee cup over there on the right side of the screen. The die is going to die cut the shape as well as the center from this, which for my card, we're actually going to be able to see the rainbow on either side of the label and then also through the center. And I'm going to create those little rainbow rays there by die cutting some strips using the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment labels dies. You could also simply die cut some strips if you want to. I love the labels because they are perfectly exactly the same size. I die cut these from the solid colors from the Waffle Flower Enchanted and Botanical Lines paper pads. And then I'm going to put double-sided adhesive on my strips before I place them on the front of my coffee cup card. You could also use a different adhesive if you want to. I wanted something nice and strong 
and I do particularly like that they are longer than the coffee cup which is going to allow me to line them up with some overhang on both sides and then I can just trim that away when I'm done. I'm using the Spellbinders Tool-in-One to help me lift up the backing paper from the adhesive and then I'm going to use the grid on my cutting mat to line up these strips. It kind of shifted a little bit so I'm going to rearrange that really quick, line that up, and that allows me to get it as centered as possible. And from there I can simply add them to the top and the bottom and I'm going to have this great little rainbow kind of strip right through the thinner, center of my card. Uh, another easier way to do this would be to take some striped paper and you could simply trim a fun little uh, striped rainbow or any kind of design like that and place that right through the center of your card if you don't want to do multiple strips. Then I'm going to simply take this, flip it over, and trim away the excess I want to make sure that's as nice and clean as possible. I'm going to do that on both sides. Just trim that away. It's looking really cute. And then we're going to glue the label that we just stamped and die cut right to the center here. Now, I originally thought I might put something in the center of this. That's kind of why I have that other die cut piece. But I think I lose too much of the rainbow design, which I really like on this. So instead, I'm going to just line this up as centered as possible, and I'm using liquid adhesive to glue that down in place. These will be the same steps for all three coffee cup cards. And then the great little heart also from the coffee cup dies was die cut from a red solid paper, and we're going to glue that to the center of the design. And that is a great little finishing touch to the front of our coffee cup card. We are going to do the same thing then. Here you can see the teal card and the red card and just simply add adhesive, line all of these little pieces up. This is the same steps. I kind of did an assembly line style after I did the first one and, and had that turn out the way I wanted it to. And I'll show you the stamping and things here in just a second. which I did some of this off camera, but I will show you how I stamped the Treat Yourself and all those great fun little boxes there on the back of the coffee cup card. The strips I simply die cut from different colors of cardstock just so that I didn't have anything that clashed with the front. So they might have been cha changed up from the front card or the purple card rather. Then I'm taking a little bit wider double-sided tape along the tabs along both sides. This is if you have all of your stamping done, which again, I haven't really shown that yet in the video, but I will show that here in a second. I did it already for these. But I stamped the cute little label. I added the little check mark stamp. I've had my stamping on the insert, which I added more stamping there. It's gonna be covered up by the gift card, but it's a great little place to add maybe a little hidden text, write a little message to the recipient, anything like that. And then the top part of the card, we I die cut two, a front and a back, out of black cardstock, and on one of those, I'm stamping surprise inside to slip that inside the coffee cup so that the recipient knows to pull that up is gonna reveal the surprise inside. And I stamped that with a clear embossing ink and heat embossed with white embossing powder. And there's just finishing up that final card and adding glossy accents to the heart and letting that dry completely. It's gonna give a great glossy raised finish to the heart portion of this design. So let's just go back for a second here and I'm gonna show stamping the surprise inside sentiment on the black coffee cup lid. I'm gonna center that as much as possible in my Misty. I set little stations up in a couple of different Misties actually. So I have the ring 
for stamping the ring for the front of my cards at the top portion of this and then I have the surprise inside in the bottom part of the mini misty and I can just stamp those repeatedly until I have all of those or enough for as many coffee cup cards as I want to make and then I've stamped that with the clear embossing ink and I'm sprinkling on white embossing powder the powder tool I use before to help kind of keep the embossing powder right on the stamped portion leaves that kind of chalkboard look to this. So once you have stamped and embossed your sentiment and the embossing powder has cooled all the way, I highly recommend taking a dry rag, paper towel, a Swiffer cloth, a dry Swiffer cloth, something like that, and wiping away that residue. So I always want to make, you want to make sure the embossing powder is all the way dry. If it's still hot, it can smear. Um, I have done that before. Um, not a good look since you need to stamp another one then. So I just wait till it's cooled down, which only takes a few seconds, and then buff away that excess powder and then glue the top to the insert and I really like the look of the top on the front and the back because that way it looks cute from the front and the back when it's inside of the coffee cup itself. Especially since we're adding some stamping to that back of the coffee cup. So there's the little surprise inside. I'm going to take this then and I want to stamp some additional text as I was mentioning a second ago that's going to fit inside of this or be revealed when the recipient moves the gift card that's held inside here. And I'm going to use the word enjoy and then the a little phrase underneath that. So on one part of my MISTI, this is again where I kind of had two stations at the top and the bottom of a MISTI, we're going to figure out where we want to put ENJOY and I'm going to stamp that with a color of ink similar or one that coordinates nicely with the background color. In this case I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Deep Purple Ink And I'm using the MISTI so that if I have to stamp this more than once, I can easily do that. And I did need to since this was the first time I have stamped that. And there's the word ENJOY. And then I'm simply going to flip this around to the bottom of my regular size or the original size of the MISTI. And I want to add my little phrase that I'm going to stamp with black ink. And I actually am going to stamp this above the word enjoy. I kind of forgot since I flipped it upside down. I know I'm doing this upside down, um, but I want to just move that up, center it, and then we're going to stamp the little phrase there right above the word enjoy. And this is a great way to kind of buddy it up and still make it very legible to read. So I'm stamping that with that black ink and it says you deserve it. And that's going to finish off the inside insert part of our coffee cup card. And I saw a couple of little smudges that I thought just really didn't wipe away. So I'm taking a sand eraser and removing those. Then I'm going to open up my card and this is where I'm going to stamp the treat yourself on the back of the coffee cup card and I'm going to do this for all three backgrounds. I used a MISTI for this as well so that I could stamp it a couple times. It's a pretty big image and I want to make sure it's nice and crisp. Here it says treat yourself. So, so cute. And then there's a check mark in the stamp set that you can take and customize by stamping or part, yeah, stamping the check mark in those. So again, tone on tone, I'm going to use the deep purple ink for the purple. And then for the other two cards, I use Simon Says Stamp Watermelon for the red card and Simon Says Stamp High Dive for the teal card. And here is a look at the finished card. So cute. 
ready to be customized and add the gift card. You can see you can just kind of lift those little flaps, slide your gift card in, and it's ready to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of three coffee cup gift card holders featuring waffle flower stamps, dies, and patterned paper. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring shaped cards that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.